Hello, oh, this is Crazy Bear. Uh, welcome back. We're on turn seven of our playthrough of A Touch of Evil. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We are, our first player is Anne Marie. She is, she just got a book at the manor, which is perfect. She's got enough investigation to buy another book at the blacksmith. So that's my goal right now. Get her back to the blacksmith. She got a three. Okay, she's not gonna. Qu she's not quite going to make it. But she is going to get one, two, three to the church. We draw an event, and it is, I say, play to search the event discard pile and take one of the non play immediately card there into hand. Oh, this is great because you know what? We have a couple in here that we've used. So I can't be a play immediately one that we've used to cancel an event card, which is, uh, I think not. So I'm going to pull this one out and put the I say in there. So this is going into my hand. This one's going into the discard pile. Awesome. Okay. I don't want to use her rest of her investigation because we're saving it for the book in the blacksmith at the blacksmith the town item and so next we've got Katarina all right so here we go let's see we got a three and it's 11 p.m. here uh, let's see where do we want her to go? You know, she doesn't have any items. Let's go ahead and send her up to the windmill. One, two, three. Awesome. Hey, how about that? She gains a pitchfork. It's great. So she gets an extra combat. Okay. So next we have Heinrich, and he is in the old woods. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to just stay where he's at, but that means I have to look, I have to look up the lingering chart, which I don't know exactly where that is in here. It must be probably up by the hero phase. Lingering. So if I roll a one, you are attacked. Oh, man. Okay, so staying in the same location makes you more susceptible to attack by the minions of the villain. So, mm. you know what? We're going to do that anyway. All right, so let's roll. First we'll roll his movement. We'll roll his movement. Oh, he got a six. You know what? Maybe we'll just send him to the abandoned keep. I really don't want to risk it. And since we got that great of a roll on his movement, let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. Abandoned keep. All right. We got a relic. Ooh. So plus one cunning, and you may discard to prevent all wounds just done to you from one source. Great card. Okay, great card. We'll add that to his list of cards here. And that's a good turn. Um, okay, so next is Victor. And he is up in the fields right now. He gets a two. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the manor. Remember, he has Sophie with him. He goes to the manor and draws a card and it is hey he finds the secret passage also so moving an old book on the shelf a creaky door opens to reveal a dusty pass passage and the faint sound of violin and the aroma of sulfur beckons you inside so he has to make a cunning roll and every successful so four plus he gains one investigation 
and if he is successful he immediately gets to move to another named space on the board okay so his cunning is four so let's do that so he's successful he gets three four plus so he gains three investigation and he gets to move to any other named location on the board where do I want to send him I'm gonna send him to the marsh and uh, that way he can pick up those other investigation tokens now he um, he has plenty of investigation at the moment. Let's see, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has nine investigation. He could actually purchase a layer card right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we might not want to do it yet. So four, five, Six, seven, eight. We get the windmill. At the start, at the at the start of the showdown, you may immediately take any one item out of the windmill discard pile. Okay, so it'll cost three to start a showdown there. So I'm going to add this to Victor. And that's good. So we're going to send him... Our plan here then is to send him over to the old woods. Collect those two. And send him up to the windmill. And in the meantime, we're going to try to get the others to get as many items as possible. And to get at least three investigations so that they can join him. And hopefully one of them will be able to look at... A town elder secret to try to have them join him on the hunt. All right. So that's it for turn seven of the heroes, and now it's time for the mystery phase. Minions would move if there were any right now. Any KO'd heroes would stand up and be revived. The villain would heal. If he had any damage, but he doesn't. And now we have to roll on the cooperative chart. We get a two. Oh, that's bad. Um, that reads Creeping Shadow. The shadow track immediately moves one step closer to darkness. The heroes may collectively take three wounds divided as they see fit to prevent this. You know, we're still relatively high up. So I'm just going to take it for now. So that moves to 15. All right. And now we have to draw a mystery card. So let's grab this. Book burning. If Reverend Harding is still alive, and he's not. So we're going to skip this. Oh good because we'd have to burn books in play possibly we don't want that we actually have two in play right now and Marie's so if he's dead then the shadow track moves two step closer to darkness maybe I shouldn't have let that happen <laughs> but okay so this mystery card is discarded and we move from 15 down to 13 Whew. Right now, finally, we put our first player token from Anne Marie to Katarina, and that is it for turn seven. So, we've got Katarina as our first player, and we're trying to get her some more investigation so she can pick up a pistol. So let's go ahead and see what her movement is. 
That's a four. So we're gonna go ahead and send her over to the manor. One, two, three, four. So she got she is going to encounter the space. Oh, darn. I was hoping for a good item. Looks like my luck is running out there. And it is a cloaked assassin. Upon returning to your room for the evening, you are ambushed by a shadowy figure. So we've got to fight. You may not use any items or allies during this fight. You may not escape. And if you defeat the assassin, you gain four investigation. All right, so let's go ahead and fight this assassin. So they've got two fight dice. We have on our own, without our pitchfork, we've only got uh, two combat ourselves. All right. So remember the the fight happens simultaneously. So let's roll first for Katarina. Excellent. She gets one uh, five plus, and she actually on a four, five, or six uh, successfully hits. So she puts one wound. On the assassin. Now the assassin attacks back. And he only gets two threes, so she doesn't take any wounds. Next, she's gonna attack him. Perfect. She gets a four, so he takes another wound, but remember he still gets a strike back. So again, two misses. So he is unsuccessful at wounding her. So she takes him out, and because of that, she gains four investigation. Remember, we were trying to gain investigation so we could buy that pistol. Well, now we will have enough. Okay, so we put that four investigation on her. Perfect. Okay, next is Heinrich. So he is going to move. So let's go ahead and see what he gets. He gets a two. Hmm. Two. Well, I guess we'll send him over here. So one, two. So he's at the marsh. So we have to roll a d6. And... Hope for a high number. Five. Perfect. So he gets to draw an event. And remember, his ability, I mean, his resourcefulness means he gets to draw two and choose the one he likes best. So Daybreak. Discard any event or mystery card that remains in play. Okay, we have one of these already. And then Gossip and Rumors. Play at any time except during a fight to immediately peek at the secrets of one town elder without revealing them. You may choose one of those secrets to discard and draw a new one without looking to replace it. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely keeping this one. We're going to discard Daybreak. And I want to... I want to go ahead and use this um, immediately because... The only one that we haven't peeked at um, is there goes the event deck. It's Dr. Manny. Let's see. Each time you would take a wound, roll D6 on a four plus, prevent that wound. Hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and peek at his. So this is Dr. Manny. So he has a nice special ability. So let's look here. Little secrets, full of lies. Without shame or remorse, this town editor spins tales of their exploits and sows seeds of deceit among rivals. No deed is too small to steal credit for, and no amount of praise is ever enough. Well, the good news is this has no effect on the game. On the hunt. Reveal immediately. Place a marker for this town elder on the board in any name space of your choice. While the while the while in the space, while in the same space as a town elder, any hero may add the elder's spirit, cunning, and/or honor 
to his own for any card effect or test. Anytime the shadow track crosses into a new stage, immediately move him to a random location. If this secret is discarded or the town elder killed, remove their marker from the board. Okay, fantastic. So we found our second town elder that we want, that we're going to be using in our fight. Now I need to get his token. Where is that? Dr. Manning, and it says place him on any named location of our choice. Hmm. Where do we want to place him at? We know we're going to be going towards the windmill, and we know on our way to the windmill we're going to be in the old woods. So let's go ahead and place him in the old woods. Okay. Great, great move for Heinrich. So that, that was brilliant. Okay, so next, Victor. So Victor is gonna be moving back towards the windmill. Um, I would I need to stop and get these two investigation at the old woods. Okay, so we got a two. So remember, he still has Sophie with him. So he moves to the old woods and he's going to encounter this location. Oh, healing herbs. Discard at any time to heal two wounds from a single hero or to remove a curse mark or remove a transformation marker from a curse affecting you. Okay, awesome. So that's a great card to hang on to. And uh, we're going to put that um, right here with Victor. Actually, we're going to move it a little bit yeah, down here. Okay. And then he is going to pick up these two investigation tokens because that's exactly, he needs three altogether. So he just got three so that he can start his um, showdown at the windmill. Now I just realized he rolled a two to move and because he's a creative thinker, he gets to draw an event for a one or a two. So let's go ahead and draw that event. aggressive combat play to give any hero minion or villain plus two combat for one fight round that's great that will be fantastic when we are fighting the headless horseman okay so so far we you know things are going pretty good yes we've had two town elders die but we have found two town elders that are more than willing to help us in our hunt so that's great so last we have Anne Marie. She's at the church currently. We just want to get her to the blacksmith so she can buy another book. And she gets a five. So we're gonna to move to the blacksmith and we get to draw an event. Brilliant deduction. Play to give any hero or town elder plus two con cunning for the rest of the showdown or turn. Play to immediately peek at the secrets of one town elder without revealing them. Okay, we're going to hang on to that. And now we're going to go into the store. And we are going to buy this book of town history for four. So that gives her one cunning. But more importantly, so that costs four. That gives her plus two contact. Combat. Oh. Wow, as I was picking those up, I just realized she still has one wound. I didn't realize that. Hmm. So, we're going to need to get that healed before we do this showdown. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Book of Medicine, I forget. At the end of each of your turns, you may choose one hero, including yourself, and make a cunning plus five test. For each roller five or six, remove one wound from that hero. <laughs> okay, so she has the Book of Medicine with her. She has a four cunning, so she needs to roll at least one five plus to remove that one wound. So we're gonna roll these four, come on. <laughs> Three, oh, beautiful. Okay. Great. So we're removing this one. Okay.
Okay, that's it. We're back to our Katarina. She's already went. So now it's time for our mystery phase. And we're gonna roll on the cooperative mystery phase chart. We get a three. Creeping shadow. Oh man. It moves one step closer to darkness. That means the horseman will get plus two wounds. I really don't want that. Let's see, I think that I have a card that will allow me to, yes, here we go. So right here, that allows me to stop the shadow track from one source. I'm gonna use that. I think not. Now we get to draw our mystery card. Oh man. Agent of Evil. Boo. <laughs> so we're going to be moving that shadow track anyway. All right, roll on the minion chart. Let's see what we get. A two. That is a ghost soldier. So we've got to put him in a random location. <laughs> and it's the town hall. Okay, so this ghost soldier is now going into the town hall. All right. Um, then move the shadow track one step closer and look at that. He gets the plus two wounds anyway. Now, well, that's the way it works. Okay, that's turn eight. So now we've got to move this first player token back to Heinrich, and it will be his turn next turn, and we will uh, see if we can't get a little bit closer to the windmill and a little bit closer to a showdown. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is Crazy Bear signing out. Thanks.